I am so happy to see you here. Oh my gosh. Um, well, there, first of all, thank you so much for being on the page, on um, checking out Harvey and Hustle. You're incredible. And you know what I really want to talk today, my name is Camille Gornia, as you probably have gathered, but I wanted to talk about creating a massive impact with your message online and beyond. And you know, really understanding what Harvey and Hustle is all about, how it came out to be, you know, the the my story. I wanted to share a little bit about my, my story, but I also want to talk about three key keys that you need to understand for you to start getting seen and really making that impact and and really growing when it comes to your business. So we're going to talk a little bit about all these things during this video. So what I actually want to do before we get into that is I wanted to share a little bit about my story so you can really understand where I'm coming from. Okay, so let's just let's just talk about that first. So when I was 13 years old, I moved from Poland to America, the land of the free. And I was really excited to live and to experience. And yet I quickly found out as a teenage girl who looked different, dressed different, spoke different and acted different, that in order to be accepted, I needed to stop standing out so much. And because of that, I felt anything but free. And I began to decide that I would do what I needed to do in order to fit in. Because honestly, all I really cared about at that age was acceptance and approval. That's all I wanted. I was in a new city, in a new town, in a new country. No friends around me, just me and my parents. I wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be approved of. And so I began to hide those parts of myself that made me different. Started to really focus on getting rid of the accent that I had at the time, really wanted to look a certain way, losing weight and dressing a certain way, being friends with the cool people, doing the things that made me feel like I would potentially in somebody's eyes be looked at as cool, which you and I both know that doesn't work like that. But the process continued throughout my teen years and leading me into college where I made a lot of choices that I wish I hadn't. And those choices were rooted in the desire to be expressive of myself and yet not knowing how to do that without standing out too much. I had this deep desire, this deep passion to like express myself and to be myself because that's always been something that was deep inside of me. But at the same time, I didn't want to stand out because I wanted to be accepted. I didn't want to, you know, alienate myself. So in wanting to be truly expressed, I continued to push myself down to tell myself, no, no, Camila, don't do that. And to hide my truest self because I really felt like if I was expressing who I was, I feel like I wouldn't be accepted. So I remember I was partying a lot and there was one moment before my 21st birthday where I came to this place within my heart, within my soul that felt like It was really strange, but it felt like I wasn't meant to live past my 21st birthday. And this thought, it really scared me, but it also kind of woke me up, you know, and I I was hyper aware of this feeling inside of me and I didn't know where it was coming from, but I just knew like this, there was this feeling of saying like, you know, I don't think there's more after this. I don't think there's more to my life after this. 21st birthday is supposed to be the last day of my life. And it was so scary. Um, But then, you know, my friends were trying to make me feel, okay, it's fine. Nothing is going to happen, Camila. Just calm down. So the the clock struck midnight. I turned 21. I was still alive. Great. So obviously it must have been just like paranoia for no reason whatsoever. That has never happened to me before, but who knows? Maybe it's the paranoia of being a 21-year-old. Who knows? But later that night, we were driving home from a club and I had just turned 21 at midnight, where we were hit by a drunk driver. And it was an awful crash. I ended up uh, you know, battered and bruised and not knowing what was going on. Uh, I was bleeding. Just, uh, it was such a bad experience. And the thing that happened at that moment where I felt like I wasn't supposed to be alive, but yet I was. I was giving a second chance. And given a chance to look back again and see that my life is my art. What I create in my life is what I give to the world. And in order to do this, I needed to be self-expressed. I needed to be tapped into who I am and no longer being scared to share that and to show that part of who I am. 
So I began to be creative again. I started writing. I started taking pictures in a way that I wanted to. And I started using my skills and my creativity to fully express myself in a way that lit me up instead of making me hide. I decided to stop letting uh, these external influences and these substances to dull me and to numb me from wanting to be this person. I've always wanted to be this person, but I kept pushing that down. I decided to stop doing that because I was giving a second chance. So instead of comparing myself with others, I started to step up into the greatness that I knew I had within me. Instead of shrinking so others could feel better about themselves, I started to shine and lift them up along with me. And instead of comparing myself with others, I stood in what made me who I am and accepted them for who they were too. And this has led me to this beautiful place in my life where now I have the privilege of helping people all over the world to express their uniqueness, to step into their greatness and to stop comparing and to see that the beauty is within them and to find the creative forces within them that make them different, that make them stand out and to see that standing out is exactly what we are meant to do. Because we are not meant to hide. We are not meant to be quiet. We are meant to speak up and speak loudly of what we feel we need to express in our lives and what we really believe in as well. And now I take people from hiding to brilliantly standing out. I take people from scared to say the wrong thing to saying exactly what feels right and authentic to them. And I take people from comparison to full self-expression online and leading their business in a way that is supporting people and making that impact they've always known they were meant to make. Imagine how the world would change if only more people were able to be impacted and transformed by the work that you do. It's time that you stop squashing your own brilliance so you don't intimidate other people and you start stepping into your own greatness. As you do that, you can help others step into their own greatness as well. And in order to truly have this business and this powerful life, in order to truly stand out, we can't be shrinking. We can't be looking for just people to accept us or like us and that's it. You know, you just got to let all of that go and be the fullest expression of you and who you are. And that's exactly what I am supporting people with today within Heart Behind Hustle. You know, it's all about being able to take a stand, making a plan for making it out there and getting it out there and being visible and then having the power to follow through. So that's so, so essential. And this is really what Heart Behind Hustle is all about. You know, we are focused on maximizing your efforts so that your content gets noticed, you get your message heard, your posts get shared, you get your programs sold and getting your impact made. Because as a coach, as an entrepreneur, as an expert, you're doing amazing work in the world. Like, you know this, you've worked with so many people, you've worked with plenty of people, they have gotten results, but why don't more people know that you exist? Why are you hiding your brilliance? Why don't people come to you to help them? Well, because you're not getting out there. You're not doing the work to get out there. And that is what you need to do if you want to grow your business. That is what you need to do to become an entrepreneur, not just a coach, not just a freelancer to make the damn impact that I know you are meant to make because you know this. If you are only supposed to just do little things here and there and just make a little bit of money and just work with those five clients that you have forever, well, you wouldn't be resonating with anything I had to say and you probably would have left by now. It's okay to feel that desire. It's okay to feel that fire inside of you. It's okay. It's there for a reason. We have to nurture that and feel that. Because you're never going to be satisfied if you don't allow that fire to burn. So you can step out and actually make that difference. I mean, imagine how the world would be different if only you were able to heal people with with your work. It doesn't even matter if you're a healer. We all are healers in our own ways. Whether you're a stylist or a life coach or a business strategist or a copywriter or a designer um, or you you teach people different things or nutritionist or whoever, it doesn't even matter what you do. You are helping the world become a better place with the work that you do. As long as you're doing it in integrity and it's heart-driven, heart-centered, then yeah, of course more people need to know that 
you're doing what you're doing because you're, the world is going to become better. I really truly believe that we are going through a transformation in our life right now. And I know that you're an integral part of that transformation being made. So we need to make sure that you actually are getting out there. And I want to share with you the mission statement for Hard Behind Hustle because this is something that we are going towards. This is what we're focusing on. Heart Behind Hustle is on a mission to help 10 million female entrepreneurs to blow up and scale up their businesses online by year 2030. The Heart Behind Hustle movement empowers women to step into their leadership in bold, impactful ways, all while being in alignment with who they are and what they believe. And we believe in a lot of things. You know, Harvey and also values knowing your why, having that clarity. We value taking the time to get clear on a situation, an idea, and a plan, and using that clarity to inform your next steps. We also value self-expression and breaking the mold and that creativity. We love the rule breakers and the ones who want to fill up the script to create something new and something innovative and revolutionary that's going to stand out. We also value providing excellent strategies, insights, and encouragement to our community. At our masterminds and inside of our online courses, we deliver exactly what you need to know with no BS and no fluff and no distractions so you can strategically move forward with ease. But you know what? We also really value being active and having fun. We like to enjoy life and help others do the same. We love our work and every day we ask, is this the life that I want to be living? We value killing it for our clients and enjoying each step of the process. And we bring positivity and joy to all of our teachings, offerings, and services as I know that you do too. We also value people who embrace a massive vision for their life. We want to work with people who see no limits to their potential or the potential of people around them. Heart Behind Hustle also values intentional action towards an outlined goal. We want to see people being accountable to their vision and then consistently taking powerful steps on a regular basis to grow their impact and their influence. We also value staying in alignment with your purpose, being intentional with your time and your actions. And we see that most success comes from visionaries who actually take the time to get crystal clear on why they're working and how they need to work to stay aligned to their life that they want to live. This also means that we absolutely value taking necessary time to rest and enjoy life. We want time to rejuvenate so that we can be our best selves and then keep giving back to our max capacity. It's so important. And I want to make a note about hustle because obviously hustle is a big word here. Heart behind hustle, right? What is hustle? Hustle is the act of creating. It's inspired and it leads to being in flow. It's choosing to be active instead of being passive. And it's taking massive aligned action as much as you can. Heart Behind Hustle values working with people who have a passion and a mission behind their businesses that they believe in so much that they can't not do it. And they're going to take action to make it happen. Heart Behind Hustle also values committing to an action, a goal, or a plan and sticking with it. We don't want to hear excuses or BS reasons why you can't make something work. When you make a commitment to a goal, you're making a commitment to yourself. So set yourself up for success and know in your heart that you're going to pursue and achieve this desire with focus and integrity. We also value authenticity and showing up as the same person in every situation. You're not hiding who you are. We are adaptable, yes, and we put our full selves out there always, and we're not trying to be someone that we're not. We value trust and respect and growth of our personal being as well, but we honestly and confidently can say that we present ourselves time and time again, regardless of setting situations or circumstances at hand in the consistent matter. We also know that the more you challenge yourself, learn new skills, and intentionally hustle, the more confident you become. That confidence empowers you to show up in uncomfortable situations or hard conversations with clarity and ease. We inspire our clients to develop strategies and confidence to reach their goals and then leverage that confidence to spread to their marketing, business growth, and personal life for ultimate success. 
And honestly, heart behind hustle breaks all the rules when it comes to expectations or boundaries. We invite people into a real experience of reflection and powerful growth. Whether you're learning to open up, being more real, owning your opinions, sharing your story, or simply not hiding yourself from the world, we value stepping into your vulnerability because it empowers your community to do the same and to not feel so alone. All of our work is personal and honest. We value deep connection. Heartbeat and Hustle also values taking a stand, clearing a path, and inviting others to join. We know the potential growth and invaluable lessons that come from transitioning from being an entrepreneur or just a coach to being an actual leader. Leadership is knowing how to lead, but it's also knowing how to be led. It's raising your hand when you don't know something and taking advice and encouragement from others as a proactive learner. We encourage the Heart Behind Hustle community to step up in their leadership every single day so they can experience firsthand the massive impact on their tribe and in their own life. And we also, last but not least, value owning and being responsible for your stuff. It's about that honesty. We are each internally accountable for our successes and failures, and we won't ever hide that. We encourage people to cut out the excuses and the BS that they're telling themselves. Our community is made of leaders who step up and break through their blocks. Their personal responsibility and their power help them own their stuff. So regardless of if their experience of failure or a success, it all becomes part of the journey that quickly gets them towards their goal. So if all of that sounds good, welcome. I'm very, very happy. And I want to share our core brand message with you. Because here's the deal. You have a moral obligation to build a business that aligns authentically with who you are and what you stand for. So you can get your work out there, get visible and do it in a scalable way. So let's hustle with intention and bring your big vision to life and make that big impact in the world. And the last thing I want to address are the three keys to getting seen and making an impact. Because a lot of people don't really know how exactly we do that. We talk about what we believe in and our movement and everything, but how exactly is this happening? There are three keys that we use to making that happen. Key number one is self-expression and branding and marketing. And for many people, it's being a personal brand. I used to be a personal brand for three and a half years before I, I started focusing in heart beyond hustle. Maybe it's being a personal brand. Maybe it's having a brand name. But regardless of what you do, it's being true and authentic and self-expressed in whatever it is that you do. I can have a brand name and still be vulnerable and still be truly myself and still say the things that I care about and take a stand for. Self-expression and branding and marketing the way that you do marketing, that works. Key number two is focused on scalable offers for sustainable income. Two essential things here. Number one, sustainable income. It's not that you're just going to make money here and then maybe next month and then maybe five months from now. No, that's not having a business. That's having a hobby. We're all about creating a sustainable income, predictable income. That is exactly the, the, the foundation of everything that we talk about within Heartbeat and Asshole in our programs sustainability, being in it for the long haul. And we do that by having scalable offers. You know, so, you know, many of you are working with one-on-one clients and private clients, and that's totally fine, but you're not going to be only working with one-on-one clients forever. And others that we have in our community have already been selling courses and programs and stuff like that. That's great. So that's exactly what we're talking about is being able to have some scalability in the offers that you do and the marketing. Um, So, you know, leveraging groups, group programs, particularly, that's my key area of expertise. I focus on supporting people with group programs, their launches, their creation, and their delivery and everything. How do we actually create the ability for you to generate more cash flow and their income and make a bigger impact with clients that actually go through a transformation? And it doesn't happen with just e-courses. A lot of people talk about, you know, selling e-courses and that's fun and, and fine, but that's, that's not the best way for your clients to get the transformation they need. And it's not the best way for you to actually generate the cash flow you need too. So we focus on scalable offers, particularly group programs, and creating that predictable, sustainable income. And key number three is we focus on online and some offline strategies for massive visibility and for massive growth. 
This is so key. You know, yes, I focus on online strategies for the most part. It's probably 90% online, but there is that 10%. I just didn't put it on the slide, but it is essential that you actually know the specific things that you're doing because we could talk about mindset and rah-rah and motivation all day long. But if at the end of the day, you don't know what specifically you're doing, what are the words that you're putting out there? What is, what does the copy look like? What are the videos you're putting out? What is the actual campaign, the strategy, the plan? If you don't know what you're doing, to get you visible, to get you to grow, well, you're not going to do it, right? You can't just wish and hope it happens. That's not how it works. So we provide you and support you with creating it in a way that actually supports you and how you want to do your business that actually gets you results as well. So if all of this sounds good and you feel like you're ready to really step into getting out there and making a massive impact, then I want to invite you to talk about how we can do that for you too. So you hopefully have already joined the movement. Hopefully you've already joined the movement, gone to harbianasal.com forward slash join movement, and you're already in. But what I want to invite you to do today is something a little bit different. So every week or so, I leave a couple of spots open in my calendar to speak with some incredible entrepreneurs, coaches, and experts, female entrepreneurs, coaches, and experts, because we work with women here in Heartbeat and Hustle, who are ready to get out there and make a friggin' impact and generate more cash flow, amplify their income, and impact more people in a scalable way. So if you feel like you're ready to start talking about how that will look like and actually step into that now then I would love to talk to you too. So I'd love for you to go to heartbehindhustle.com forward slash apply. And when you go to this page, you're going to be directed to basically information and instructions on how we can talk and how we and I specifically can support you in amplifying all these things, amplifying your income, accelerating your results, and being able to make an impact in a much faster way, in a way that supports your personality, in a way that actually uh, supports you in aligning with who you are and growing your confidence and being able to see the damn results that you've been wanting to see for so long, whether it's scaling to six figures whether it's moving into multiple six figures or beyond. This is what we're doing. We're not messing around here. This is not about, you know, tiny little steps like how to set up your website. This is stuff that we do that actually makes a difference. If you're ready to commit full heartedly, if you're ready to make changes, if you're ready to actually make this work, I want to talk to you. Go to heartbehindhustle.com forward slash apply and we'll see if there's a fit for us to chat. And if there is, we'll talk and um, we'll see how exactly it's going to look like for you. So what exactly is standing in your way of creating that vision for yourself? We'll give you the clarity on knowing exactly what you even want that future to look like. What is your vision? What do you want your business to look like? And then what's standing in your way? What are the pitfalls? What are the, um, what are the, the blind spots that you're not even aware of right now? What's holding you back? We're going to get you clear on that. And lastly, we're going to put you back on the path or on the path for the first time to actually achieving these things and actually being able to know exactly the steps you need to take in order to create that for yourself too. So if all that sounds good, go ahead and go to heartbehindhustle.com forward slash join. Uh, sorry. So go to heartbehindhustle.com forward slash apply. And I can't wait to talk to you very soon.